What's up team? Uh, Junch here, one of the coaches at World Fitness. Uh, so today we're going to be filming a little bit of uh, my strength class, so it's called Strength Project. We've got Sam and we've got Paige coming in uh, to do a few of our main movements. So yeah, it's 6am in the morning, everything's going to be a bit rough, uh, but we'll see how we go. Eh? So, breathe and brace before each and every rep. The point of this exercise is basically it's the upper body pushing strength. Okay, a lot of people just sort of stick with bench press and do more of that vertical push, uh, but we like to do it standing. Um, and the benefit with this one as well is that you have to work your core a hell of a lot more as well. Okay, again, bench press, you're just lying on a nice flat surface. The strength press, everything's going up overhead, so all of a sudden that weight, the distance from that weight to the floor is a lot greater, and so you have to actually balance and stabilize a lot more. Um, which is why I always cue to keep the core nice and tight and also to activate the glutes as well. Um, otherwise, if either one of those things isn't engaged, you're just going to crumple. Right, weight wise, P, you've got 30. So, chuck a five on each side. Sam, then you get to stay at the bar. So, sets of seven. So, this is first set, then last set, as many as you can. Nice for our chest, core tight, glutes tight. You don't want heavy hands out too wide. Okay, we've got one more in it. That's it. Get him up. Ready? Three, two, one. Punch, punch, punch. There you go. And now you can it. The reason why I've got Sam, have a rest and then go again is just to finish up that set. So she had seven reps that she had to do in her set. She got six before she couldn't do any more. Sometimes I just get the girls to do, they take a little little breather, like a couple of seconds, three to five seconds, unrack it, go again. It allows them to finish off their set, do all the reps. Um, but it's just a nice short rest enough to recover to be able to smash out whatever is remaining. Get right. one more. Good deep breath. Three, two, one. Up, 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 up. Push, 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 push. Keep going. There you go. Seven's at that weight, it's good for you. Yeah. Good to them, so now we're down at seven points. We've got your sixes last week, pretty easy. Yeah. Five squats. Still going five sets. No one. No warm up, you'll be fine going straight into it, you'll be all good. Five sets of seven again, last set as many as you can as we do. Box squats, uh, it's just a different variation on the back squat. Um, I use it to help people uh, like train to a new depth. If you're doing a normal box squat, let's just say someone can only sit to here with the weight on the bar, then by adding the box underneath it's giving them a safety point. Uh, so they can kind of squat to where they're used to squatting and then they can kind of drop their way down to the box and then they still have to work from the bottom up. So you're still building strength in a new range of motion but you're doing it in a safe way. Page with the front squats, just again variation on the, on the back squat, taking the front. Generally lighter loads, a little bit more upright. Hits the quads a hell of a lot more as well. Do what works for them. There's no point in forcing somebody to do a movement that isn't necessarily what they're not necessarily like built for, if that makes sense. Just so that they can get the, the most out of the movement without sort of you know, hindering themselves. So we're going to go into RDL. RDL. 15. I'll, take, I'll bring the bars down. You guys have a breather. Make me do something up. Yeah. Posterior chain strength. Uh, strengthening and lengthening is how I like to put it. Um, so put the RDL, it's just a variation on the deadlift. So you start at the top, hinging over at the hips. Okay, so with this, working for hamstring splits, lower back. So as you're hinging over, that hamstring's going to get lengthened. Okay, as you're coming up, it's shortening. Yeah. Seven. Seven. 
good. That's all good. That's fine. Yeah, fine in there. Where does that to be? Too hard for the rich. Yeah. Wait, I have to drop you, honestly. Could you? Yeah, I think we're well, 30, we just went to 25. Let's try 30, though. First three exercises we've been doing sets of, uh, well, we've been increasing the, increasing the reps each week. So, first week in this block, we were doing five sets of five. Then five sets of six, this week is five sets of seven. Next week will be five sets of eight, and that'll be sort of like our peak week. And we always do that with the first uh, three, well, we're doing that with the first three exercises this season, uh, this block. And then the following three exercises, so basically like accessory movements or like secondary strength movements. Um, we've been doing uh, three sets of eight to 12 reps. Um, but I'm not going to ask these girls to do 12 reps on push press. It's just, this is brutal. It's gross. You okay with 25? Yeah. Push press. Uh, next level up from a strict press. Uh, so in a way it's kind of building up like your split jerk that you do in Olympic weightlifting. So you strict press, no legs involved except for keeping you nice and stable. That's your strong press from there. Push press, tiny little dip. Okay, not a full squat. Okay, so it's just a little dip. And then pushing up with your legs so that allows you to get a little bit more weight up there. We can overload the movement a little bit more, overload the shoulders. They're doing heavier than what they can with the strict press. Load it up. Push press, slow on the way down. You're still going to get a lot of benefit into the shoulders for that. Okay, we've got face pulls to do and leg extensions. How's that sound? Sound good? Yeah. or a face pull, um, generally for rear delts, upper back, getting into the traps, and it's good for like general shoulder health. Um, big thing that people don't really think about is that a lot of things that we do in everyday life, everything's in front, you know, you're on your phone, driving's in front, working's generally in front, helping uh, like keep healthy shoulders really, because you're getting that whole pulling back motion, you get a little bit of rotation in there as well. So instead of being like this all day, your shoulders are actually having to pull back, open up. doing sort of like a full body rotation at the moment so not one session is like for one muscle group uh, leg extensions is more just to get that very strict uh, quad activation going on so like with a squat there's a lot more activating than just the quads you throw people in a leg extension this is all they're gonna hit um, 
So by getting them in this, it's just allowing them to focus on that, that contraction through the quad, which you don't actually get from a squat. Um, it's also great if you've got like knee injuries and that sort of thing. It's great for rehab because it's, it's less force, like downwards force on the joint. So it allows you to go through, through that knee flexion motion without really irritating the knee too much. Remember, get that little pause at the top, point those toes back, okay, so you're going to get an extra quad on there as well, okay, because you'll be able to feel the difference if you did a couple of reps with your toes pulled back and your toes pointed, you'll definitely feel a, like it's a small difference, sometimes it's hard to tell, but there is a difference there, but I like, I like the toes pulled back. When you're ready, second set. That's right, you don't have to have as much rest time in these ones. Great session with Paige and Sam today. They pushed really hard. As you can see, they started to struggle a little bit towards the end there. Um, but great session all around. Um, if you guys are keen to come along and try it out, feel free to hit me up. Obviously, we're located within World Fitness. Um, you know, and if you can tell from the class already, great vibe, pretty chilled out, very much like the gym itself. Uh, so, come along, team. Thanks for watching.